Olivia, thank you. News 2 is your local election headquarters. Today, a local bookstore hosted an event featuring first congressional district Democratic nominee Dr. Annie Andrews and state superintendent candidate Lisa Ellis to discuss the needs of children in the state. News 2's Kayvon Dupree attended the event and heard from Andrews and Ellis about the importance of advocating for children's well-being. Both candidates spoke with voters at Unitarian Church in downtown Charleston about how they plan to help children excel if elected in November. Dr. Annie Andrews and Lisa Ellis holding a conversation on children. Children of South Carolina are our future and we have um, the responsibility to take care of them and to make sure that they have access to high quality education, high quality you know, physical, mental and emotional care so that they can become productive citizens that lift up our state. Saturday's forum covered various topics related to children's health and education. The state of mental health care for children in this state, the issue with gun violence among children in this state, as well as focusing on the need for quality public education for every child in this state. Andrew says through her experience as a pediatrician, she has witnessed firsthand many of the challenges children face. Children who don't have enough food to eat, children who don't have access to internet in their homes, and it also includes a countless number of children I've cared for who are in the throes of a mental health crisis and cannot access mental health resources. Those challenges also include an increase in gun violence. In 2019, gun violence became the leading cause of death for children in the United States. Dr. Andrews is critical of her opponent, Representative Nancy Mace, and her voting record when it comes to certain issues. She voted against the bipartisan gun safety bill after the tragic shooting in Uvalde, Texas, where 19 fourth graders and two educators lost their lives in a matter of seconds. And with only a month and a half until Election Day, Andrew says she feels confident about her chances to unseat Representative Mace. I'm really looking forward to November 8th because I think that the community is ready for a change in representation in D.C. Representative Nancy Mace's campaign manager says Representative Mace has been a leader on building bipartisan consensus for school safety solutions that keep guns out of criminals' hands. I'm Kevon Dupree. Count on two.